This video, I'm going to keep it short. I'm just going to go through how you set the things up that you give to every single client and automate those and schedule those so you don't have to waste time giving it to each one individually. So I'm talking about things like your welcome pack, some support messages, assessments on a certain schedule, perhaps monthly, weight measurements, tape measurements, sending them some client success stories, maybe a weekly coaching video, and maybe drip feed some PDF recipes or something like that. Um, so really just the things that you give to every client, setting it up once and then adding it to your new clients in just a couple of seconds. So the first thing I would do is go to your welcome pack group. So you select that from the drop down menu, welcome pack, and then go to the dashboard. Already set up in this group, if you go by days after joining, you'll see that there's a couple of days of food diary at the start. And if you click on on join, there's an informed consent form and a par queue to fill in. So that's already set up. And if you go to messaging, you will see that there is also a welcome email scheduled to go when anybody joins your group. You can choose to edit that if you like and put your name in and a couple of other details. You can also come up towards the top. It's probably a good idea sometimes to add a text message, a little welcome text. So you could click on SMS, scheduled, and then set it up to go on joining. To keep this nice and personal, I would put in the first name placeholder. So you can copy that. And then paste it in to your text. So that will just put that first name at the top of it. And then you can put in any details that you want to share in a text. So you might also want to put links to your apps and links to your website where they can log in. It's entirely up to you, but I think that's a good idea to have a welcome text as well as a welcome email to ensure that your new clients get that. When you're happy with it, save it and then come back into your welcome pack group. Now under add coaching slash tracking, you can add any sort of frequently asked questions with a PDF and you could also put in a quick welcome video introducing yourself, introducing your program and welcoming them to your service. There's a number of other things that you can add in, but you can put it all into your welcome pack group and give them a really great welcome as they join your services. From here, what I would do is set up another group. So this other group would contain your regular assessments, some support messages, as I say, links to client success stories, maybe weekly coaching videos, tape measurements, um, weight measurements, things like that. So just come up to more and click on client slash groups. Click on PTD groups, new PTD group. I would call this something like stuff for all clients. So you know exactly what it is. Now remember all of these groups are backend groups. So only you know that it's groups and the content inside them goes into every single one of your clients individual accounts so they will just see what they get you will know that it goes to every single one of them if you want to tell them it's group stuff then you can of course tell them that it's group stuff but it's just an easy way to share with multiple clients at the same time so you've named your group just click on it from the list below and it will take you straight into the group dashboard so from here you can add your assessments. Let's say you wanted to do a monthly Skype assessment for the first three months of your package. Go to add assessment, you could build a new one or take it from one of your templates. I'm just going to take it from my standard assessment template and add that. Brings you into the assessment builder where you can edit it and add anything to it if you wish to. I'm not going to for now. I'm just going to title it and then save it. So I'll call it monthly assessment. and then save. I'll keep the top option ticked so that copies the assessment to all members who don't have it. And when I add new members, it will copy to their account as well. Let's me schedule it here. I'm not gonna schedule it here because I'll schedule this in the same way I will schedule everything else to make it nice and easy for the video. I close down and go back into the group and it shows me I've got my assessment there. I will click on schedule, add an event, by days after joining, I'd say one day after they join for their initial assessment. You can choose a time if you wish to, or you can just keep it there in the morning. Event type is an assessment. And it lets you choose your assessment. So I've got monthly assessment. Now I will choose to repeat this one every four weeks.
for 12 weeks. You can add in a note. You might want to say, let's fix up a time to talk over Skype, something like that, and then save it. So that will go into the schedule. Now, as I say, you might want to do a sort of weekly roundup and coaching video. So you can come up to add coaching slash tracking, add a video, and that will let you take it either from your attachment library within PT Distinction or straight from whatever device you are on. So if you want to take it straight from your phone, just log in on your phone and do that. Same with a tablet, same with a computer. So you can just browse, pick up your video, and then you can schedule that to go whenever you want it to go. So potentially seven days after joining. When you're happy, click on OK. You can do the same thing by clicking on coaching slash tracking to add PDFs. So that would be so that would be a good way to add in some recipes if you want to drip feed those as well to your clients. A lot of trainers might also want to get some regular food diaries. So three days, maybe every two weeks. So add coaching and tracking, click on food diary, click on add. And then once again, click on the schedule, add event, days after joining and schedule it in. When you're scheduled, just click on save. Now, some people might want to set up some regular messages to go out to your clients, just a little bit of motivation and support that goes to them every day or week. So whatever you want to do, click on messaging and that will take you into the messaging center for this group. And then select whether you want it to be email, in-app message or SMS, and you can schedule those to deliver whenever you want to. So when you're happy with everything that you've set up in both your welcome pack and in your stuff for all clients, you can come up and add some clients. So all you would do to add a client is click on add client, put in their name, email address, select their sex, and you'd add them to your group. So first of all, you'd add them to your welcome pack group then add and then you would add them to your stuff for all clients group and add now if you're going to add lots of clients at the same time it's a good idea to lock these so that the next client comes up they'll automatically be in so save that now all of that content that you've added into those groups will copy straight into that client's account this point you can send them their login details you don't have to because you know they'll be getting their welcome email and their welcome text message and you can come up click on new clients again add another one select this x and again you will see that they are logged in to those groups so just click on copy and copy to copy all the contents over to their account and then save. So once again, everything in your welcome pack, everything in your stuff for all clients group goes straight into that client's account and that goes into their individual account. So we'll go and check out those clients by going into search client. So I'm gonna to go to client one and go into that client's individual dashboard. So now you'll be able to see that in their schedule, they have food diary, they have their monthly assessment, and they have fill in their various forms. If you scroll through, you see all the stuff that you put in on a regular basis for them. So more food diaries and more assessments going through. Go into the messaging, you will see that they have their messages set up. So scrolling down, there's their welcome email that they got on joining. And if you click on the sent box here, you'll be able to tell if it's sent or not. And a little tick will tell you that the message is sent. Just click back to clients. And now that they've got all of this stuff that you want to give to all of your clients, you can start working on their individual things. So you can record their individual assessments and view all of their individual records. And you can start building their individual training programs. So add program and you would build it from new and build their training program. And you might want to add in their own coaching, tracking and habits. So you can come to add coaching give them individual coaching videos with their particular lessons, individual habits to track each day and everything that you want for them as an individual client. So this is just a real way to save time on all the stuff that you give to all of your clients. A lot of this stuff 
crosses over with online training and with any form of training. So you can whack it all in a group, give it to them in a second as you add them as a client, and then focus your time on the things you need to do for them as an individual.